these are emergency physicians who are trained for this, and even they are sounding a little shell-shocked. Dr. Jeremy Faust is an ER doctor at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, and he's on the faculty at Harvard Medical School. He grew up in San Francisco and has been in touch with emergency physicians across the country. He's concerned about the lack of ventilators at U.S. hospitals. Yesterday, Mayor London Breed said San Francisco needs an additional 1,500 ventilators. We can do some MacGyver-like things to expand ventilator capacity, but that's those those moves are very dangerous, such as having two patients on one ventilator, for example. Or the other the sad reality is to, for doctors like me or ICU doctors to have to make choices that we never wanted to make, which is which of these two patients has a better chance. That's just a nightmare scenario. In the East Bay today, healthcare workers outside Oakland's Highland Hospital demanded the Alameda County Board of Supervisors take over Alameda Health System over claims of mismanagement. I have a patient who's possibly have COVID. I need gloves. Where are the gloves? Why do I have to go back to my manager's office and sign a piece of paper to get gloves? Why do I have to? I talked to nurses in the break room who are crying, frustrated with what's going on. In the South Bay, Alan Kamara, an ER nurse at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, says despite what officials have said, the shortage of personal protective equipment is a frightening reality for healthcare workers on the front line. It's taking uh, uh, a tremendous emotional toll on our nurses and, and, and our healthcare frontline workers. Dr. Faust says leaders need to use the Defense Protection Act to mobilize and get medical supplies to hospitals around the country. Kate Larson, ABC 7 News.